can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Um, that's that's nice. That's where the hell are we? We're back here. We're back. Jong. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Ferris will have a second chance thanks to you. All right, so you are you. Commander. Okay. Glad to see you survived your encounter with the Thorian. Yeah. I wish I actually believed that you meant that. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? No, I'm 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 good. I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Worth a shot. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Okay. Eternity's a little loud and revolting. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? Williams. The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Did you... there was nothing useful? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. It's pointless. Uh... What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Okay, didn't time me out. Little boastful there. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? No, but you should. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. Agreed. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. I The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I... Tempting? Not any le I help everyone. I do! It, it, it didn't matter that they were humans. They could have been Turians, they could have been Solarians. It didn't matter. I'm doing my job. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. <sighs> be careful what you wish for. Okay, one of the counselors is growing on me. 
The Solarian is slightly annoying. The Turian is just enraging. I... Okay, you know what? Do not leave here angry. You are a council spectre. They are the council. You work for them. Professional. All right. Let's... Oh, let's check on the crew and... How are you doing? Yes, Commander. Just nothing. I'm just making sure everyone's Carry on, okay. Presley. Yes, sir. Got to sort some uh, some gear out as well. We picked up some gear down there. Just just make sure the ship is uh, ship shape and Bristol fashion. Is that still a saying? And that the crew match. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. Right. I have to go. All right, see you. Thanks for the, uh, the chat. The Sokolov 9. That is better than my Spectre shotgun. Well, it's not as accurate, but it's still very accurate. But it's more damage, and more importantly... It has a lot more heat sink capacity. You know, I've got a lot of money now. I think I'm going to buy that and give it a try. I mean, it's comparable. They are comparable, but I like the heat sink capacity. I really do. I think that's worth the accuracy drop. I was thinking of buying a second Spectre shotgun for Rex, but I think I'll buy this and see. Yeah. I am going to buy the Spectre Assault Rifle and Pistol. I want spares of those. I'm sure I can find places for those. Sniper Rifle. We could get another one of those, actually. I mean, I want to save some money in case there's stuff back at the Citadel, because there might be. But you know what? I can definitely... I've got two snipers, so we've now got two Master Sniper Rifles. None of the armor actually looks very good at all that he's selling. Okay, that is the entire crew kitted out really well. Let's find out how they're actually doing. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. What happened on Akuz, it's not easy to lose your unit, I know. But it gave you the drive you needed on this mission. And that got you here, commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, did, did you think I needed a pep talk? Because I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I'm... Okay, yeah, but what about you? Maybe, maybe everything you've gone through has forged you into the warrior you are now, and that's why you're here. So, same back at you, I guess. It's good to know where I stand with the galaxy. Where do I stand with you? About a meter away. Maybe 1.2 meters. Sorry. I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. I hope you can wait. Okay, we are definitely... Communicating on different wavelengths here. Um, uh, uh, no, no, I can wait. Just, yet yeah, no. Right, yes, definitely. Waiting. I'll just requisition myself some cold showers. No! What? That's the spirit, Skipper. Keep a stiff upper something. I'll warn you, though. I'm a hellcat off the battlefield, too. Sleep tight, Shepard. Okay, just... I mean, I'm, it, I'm not even hinting that this is not going to happen. I'm telling you, I am your superior officer. I will be keeping any stiff upper whatevers to myself. I can't believe this. I may actually be asking you for advice on interpersonal relationships. I re I just, I can't quite explain to my soldiers how this works, apparently. All right, Rex, just for once, cheer me up. Shepard. 
Nothing to say. You know what? Rex. Good man. That actually cheered me up. That did, in fact, cheer me up. And how are you doing? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Uh... What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're not being sarcastic because I haven't taken you on the last few missions. It's just... Like, I took Tally because, you know, Geth, but, you know, definitely, next mission, I'm pretty sure you're, you're up. So, yeah. You're welcome, Garrus. Okay. Right, let's go and speak to Tally and the ship's engineer and hope the ship isn't about to explode or something. Something I can do for Although you, Although, at the moment, I'd, I'd almost welcome the distraction. No, no, we're, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. Carry on, Adam. Excellent. Aye, aye, Commander. Tally? Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? No, no, we're... This... No, great. Excellent. I should go. Just... See you later. Yeah. Just nice to have a conversation where someone doesn't think I'm hitting on them. Hey, Doc? Yes, Commander? Just... Is there something you need? No, I was just wondering if there's anything I should be made aware of. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Did Mr. Zoni get... Some rest. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? A little bit. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Uh... Not really. It's just I am checking in on everyone. Make sure everyone's okay. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? No, nothing really. I'm, I'm... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. No, no. It's, it's good to see you back on your feet. Doing well. Not hitting on me. Caden! Right! See how you're doing. Anything you need, Commander? All right, give us the tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with Jong, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. Good man! We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? My original plan was once we'd finished at Feros, we would head back to the Citadel for, you know, restock, resupply, that sort of thing. However, we have now received some disturbing reports of Geth activity in the Armstrong Nebula. I would like to check that out, and it is only one relay jump away. We also know Exogeny sent some samples of the Thorian to the Maroon Sea for Cerberus. I absolutely want to check that out before we head back. And of course the Council have got a unit in Vermeer that's gone missing, so they want me to check that out because it, it is possible it's related to my search for Saren. Kepler Verge. Oh, that's where Garrus's um, fugitive is. So, yeah, so we've got a lot of things one jump away. I think we should check those out before we head back to the center of the galaxy. Oh. And there is, of course, Hercules, the system we've not visited yet. Let's just check that in case there's something there that uh, is either related to the Hunt for Saren or the Geth incursions we've been seeing. Message coming in. Patching it through. Okay. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. Right. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. 
You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Roger that. Okay, so let's have a look. Zathron. Zathron. Zathron is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur. Elatania is the only planet that can be landed on, so this is it. Warning, level one toxic hazard. Elatania, or Elatania, appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and possesses a thick, oxygenated atmosphere, but the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic, anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clean. Okay, so it looks like a paradise, but it will kill you dead. Okay then. Let's see what is going right. Geth activity again. I did promise I was going to take Garrus, didn't I? I did. It's just... You know what? Let's take both of them. Two people who are experts at uh, electronics and um, decryption could be good. We got the Geth. Possibly. Yeah? If I end up needing biotics, I'll regret that, but hey. All right. Oh, I'm going to need to make sure these guys are prepped and ready to go, which we always do as we land in the Mako for some odd reason, rather than, you know, preparing in advance like a sensible person. I, I want to continue on increasing my health, accuracy, and duration and damage of my powers, I think. Yes, Spectre training. Get Tally is sorted. Garrus needs a little work. Let's have a look. Tactical armor. I'm, I'm still thinking armor is the way to go. <sighs> See, I'm liking the damping, but he already has it. Improve accuracy and all weapons by 10%. Damage and assault sniper rifles by... S you know what? That's probably an all-round good one as well. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for as unkillable as possible and now we got two points do we put them into no I'm thinking sniper rifles see if we can get better assassination or better first aid or better damping I am really torn on this oh yeah damping also increases the radius of sabotage and overload as well as damping okay that will do then Right. Oh, look at this! I figured out how to switch the Mako's auto drive thing so I can look around and it won't try and follow me. I can steer the Mako myself. I am so very happy. Look at this! Look at that! Almost an aerial 180. Okay, I should probably focus. I should probably focus. We've got downed recon probe, an anomaly, and debris. The recon probe is the priority. Let's... Where was it? It, it was slightly north, actually. This place is very green. Now, this is almost certainly going to be a trap. It's going to be Geth. Or a th Thresher Moor. Or both. got something to mine over there. Alright, let's just check on the probe first. Is that it? That looks like it. I'm waiting for something to pop up. Okay, I'm going to leave the Mako pointed away in case we... Is 
excuse me, down, examine. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Oh, this will be fun. Wait, 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 wait. These are monkey-like creatures who've made... Oh, really? So we have to find the data module. All right, let's get in here before we die of whatever that hazard is. Do we... Monkey colony. Mon <sighs> All right, we got one to the south. All right, let's, let's just go and get this... Whatever it is, before we head off chasing monkeys. Space monkeys? I mean, can we call them space monkeys? I, I guess we can't really call them space monkeys. They don't live in space. They live on this planet. Oh, wow, got, a, got out a little, little too soon. Why have I got a sniper rifle in my hand? Yeah, definitely got out too soon. Remember, this place is hazardous to your health. Gold! Okay. Got some gold on one of the planet surveys as well. So we've got rather a lot of gold now, which has given us some money, which is always nice. But again, at this point, I'm even thinking of turning some of the items we find into Omnigel now. We've got that much money. Okay. So... What, what, what are we going to call them? I mean, we can't call them alien monkeys because we're the aliens. Natives! We've got to go and check with the natives. Native monkeys. Do you think they're intelligent? They did look like they had basic tool use. Okay. Are they hostile? Do they seem hostile? They don't seem hostile. Okay. We're in a first contact situation here, maybe. Possibly. They... Okay, they don't seem hostile. I'm not... Okay, we're looking for data. I can't see a data module. Can you see a data module? I can see the fact that I'm dangerously close to being... Is it poisoned? We're going to be poisoned. Now, I'm quite resistant to poison. Okay. I'm assuming... Okay, is it... The monkeys aren't carrying the data module, right? I don't have to, like, blast, blast the monkeys. Do I have to blast the monkeys and find a data module? That seems a little, well, mean. Land on their planet, they've picked up something shiny, and then we have to blast them to Kingdom Come to get it back. Why can't we track this data module? Okay, right. Let's, let's just forget that for now. Check all the colonies and hope we just find it lying on the ground. And we don't have to brutally murder the native population. Unless they try to murder us, of course. Maybe if we... I mean, what happens if they take the data module and they've decided it's their god and we take it and they attack us? I'm afraid then it's just self def seeing a data module? I'm not seeing a data module. So, oh! Oh, we actually have to search the monkeys? We have to search the monkeys. Do we... No? Can we search the monkeys? I thought for a second I could search the monkeys. I got this strange... Like, what am I gonna do? Pat them down? Whoa! Okay, what? I did not mean to do that. Whoa. That's it. Bag him and tag. What do you mean bag him and tag? I got it again. I got I got something that said. S 
Okay, you know what? Let's just get back t to the vehicle and, and, and rethink, yeah? Why can't I get in? What? I can't get in. I can't get in. It's not letting me get in. Okay, now we're dying. Now we're dying. Why can't we get... We can't get in! Why can't we get in? What? What? Stop aiming! No! Oh! What the actual was going on there? That's a monkey. Got it. Couldn't search any of them, could we? Put your one. See, it says monkey! Search! Oh! Okay! So we can search them! For some reason. Okay! Right, we may have to go back to that first one. We're supposed to be frisking the monkeys. We're actually frisking the monk. Was there a monkey that we didn't frisk? Excuse me, sir. Could you show us some identification? And empty your pockets. We have reason to believe you are carrying contraband. Was that all of them? You lead. I'll follow. Okay. Oh, no, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, hazards coming. Hello? Doesn't have, doesn't. I'm right here. Okay, right, right. Let's let's get to let's get back to. The, hey, some action. No action. We're dying of poison. That is not action. That is mild stupidity. Right, back to the first monkey village. Okay. Right. Yeah, you guys could search some of the monkeys as well. You know, that would be that would be helpful considering we're on a bit of a. All right, here we go. Doesn't have the module. God, this is ridiculous. Join the Spectres, they said. You'll have the best equipment. Top assignments. Frisking monkeys for stolen contraband. Oh yeah, totally. Definitely. I tell you what though, this thing is actually almost a pleasure to drive now. I can actually drive in circles whilst looking in one direction. This is so nice. I can even, if I want to, I can even go backwards now. I can reverse. This is... I just do not understand why the maker wants to drive for me by default. I mean, if it was good at it... Okay, it can navigate for me because I'm really not doing a good job at that. I mean, if he wants to navigate for me, by all means, get a nice GPS in here. But drive for me, it's just not very... Okay. I understand why you might be tempted to think, no, the Mako is better than you, but it's just not. It's not. I'm not the world's greatest Mako driver, but the Mako is... an even worse... That doesn't look like a monkey colony. That, oh. Okay, so we built some sort of... Okay, right. This is where it's going to be, isn't it? This is where the King Emperor monkey lives. And the other monkeys brought the module. I should probably check them anyway, just, just in case. Just, just... You don't have them. Okay, do not. Shh, I don't. Gotta get close enough to the monkeys to check their pockets. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even going to think about what I'm actually checking them for. I mean, how big is the data module? They don't seem to have pockets. So there's unless they've eaten it. I'm not totally sure how they're carrying one that I can't see it. And if they have eaten it, how am I checking them without, well, upsetting them, shall we say? All right, looks like we're, okay. Going in there before we get poisoned. <sighs> so what do you think? They've turned the data module into a throne. Okay. And 
Hello? You don't have the module. You don't have the module. Okay, fine. Decrypting, all right. I mean, did they bring it? Oh, God. Did they bring it in a big box? Probably not. Still let Oh, that's a nice pistol. Heavy armor, human, assassin eight. Light armor, duelist nine. Okay. It's, it's not that, it's not really that good. No, it's not. See if one of the others wants it. It's actually pretty good shields. It's, it's, it's okay. We'll try it on. Maybe it looks cool. All right. Oh, I keep wanting to say, take us to your leader. Okay. So this is an old mining post. Oh, fuck. Fine. All right. Is there an obvious king monkey? No. Locked crate. All right. And do, haven't I just received the duelist armor? Didn't I? Didn't I just get? That was oh duelist light armor. This is the duelist. Eh, okay, it's 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 not that good, but it might be good for someone else. This predator stuff is pretty awesome. I wonder if they do the predator stuff in medium. The monkey doesn't have the module. Okay, we got two. All right. Hello, sorry to disturb you. We're just racially profiling. What? Ah! It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker should be able to transmit this info to Alliance Command. Okay. Well. We're going to let you off with a warning this time. Don't do it again. Don't be picking up shiny things that you've seen and bringing them back to this. Oh, uh, uh, oh God, I can't stand it when I go. Yeah, there we go. Scimitar, Banshee, Harpoon. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm this close to telling them off for squatting as well. Um, right, okay. So, we got what we came... Why do I feel like this hot? Oh, God. That did. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, okay. That. What are, what are you shooting at? What? Geth, I know you shoot at Jeff Geth, but you're not hitting the Geth. No, you're not. All right. You two. Just, just. I'm going to get my barrier. Whoa. Okay. A lot of them. Uh, I'll tell you what. Hack. Hack one of them. And... Oh, no, no. No, you hack that destroyer. Garrus, blast this one's shields. Oh. All right, the destroyer's on our side. And I'm going to lift you, damp you, disable. Nice. Did they kill the monkeys? Did they kill the monkeys? Okay, so the Geth were here looking for it as well. And apparently they killed the monkeys or the monkeys. Whoa, sniper. Sniper. Garrus, this is where you switch to sniper rifle. Tally, you just blast that. I'm going to put my shield back up. Oh. What did I 
That's not actually what I wanted to do. I was okay, really hoping to do that. Okay. Were there more? Think we're good, Commander. Okay. All right, all right. Katana and Kovalyov assault rifle. Nice. Okay, well, we got what we came for. We beat the Geth. We, uh, we met the locals. We didn't pick up any souvenirs. Actually, that's a lie. We picked up lots of souvenirs. Just no silly hats. Where and what is this debris? There we are. Doesn't look like a crashed probe. Looks more like a bit of a spaceship that's fallen off. No, it is in fact a probe. Okay. And... Shield interface 8. Nice. Scram rail 8. What on earth is a scram rail? Is it better than the rail extension? It do... Okay, so it's... It's not quite as much damage as the rail extension, but it, um, it actually has less overheating, so... Now, that is actually better, isn't it? Probably. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I don't think I've got much of an overheating problem at the moment anyway. I haven't actually tried it too much, but, like... It's quite hard. I could probably just about get there if I keep firing non-stop. But it feels a bit more, you know, a bit more reliable than my other shotgun. Just because of the heat absorption. Okay, where was I now? Right, the anomaly is south and east. But I'm thinking we... Follow the natural contours of this very green planet. The Mako is now a lot more pleasant to drive, but I still don't think it's going to go up sheer inclines like that. Although you never know. So it doesn't look like there's an easy way through, so it looks like we just choose the least difficult way which does seem to be here and oh okay no 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 that's looking a little bit oh we got this we got this we got this we got this we have so got this I tell you what say what you like about this thing it, oh it's tough. It is definitely tough. So, straight ahead. Is it up on the other side? Oh, it's up there somewhere. Wow. So, we went from driving around boring and flat to driving almost vertically. There we go. There we go. I see it on the scanner. I had that. Uh, oh, okay, okay, that's... Now that's... an anomaly. Okay. I was expecting a probe. I wish we'd brought Liara with us. She is... Okay, I'm going to go right up to the shiny, shimmering, floating ball and try to recover it. Okay. And... 
Whoa, whoa. Mysterious globe examined. Okay. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it in the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain, a small lump in the back of your skull, as, a, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of your skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt at the, by the lake's edge. It has no head, no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it. it is watching you, studying you. So this is... This is the Protheans tampering with the locals here. They were tampering with the locals. Possibly putting some sort of chip underneath the skin. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to the caves and the rest of your tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate. The battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder. Winter falls. You must range farther for food clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that a strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it, its call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens, on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elatania, lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companions sta standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you've seen. The memories of a chrome magnon hunter, captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. So they were humans. This is actually a recording from humans on Earth, not the local population, although they were probably doing the same to the local population. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at the base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. Yeah, a mystery that we will never solve. Unless, of course, we meet a Prothean one day and ask him to explain it to us. <laughs> Which is probably about as likely as me becoming best buddies with a Geth. <laughs>